What's going on, guys? Johnny on the track back here with another video. Um, we'll start off little recap last weekend uh, at Bristol Dirt. We won Christopher Bell. We got a nice top 10 with Todd Gillen in front row motorsports. Um, I told you, don't overthink this one. We didn't have to overthink it. It was the Larson show. It was the Bell show. Um, it was the Austin Dillon show, surprisingly. Um, and it was the Chase Briscoe show. Uh, so we didn't overthink it, you know, stuck to the dirt guys and Christopher Bell got his first win on dirt in the cup series, um, de deservingly so for sure. Um, so good weekend. Let's continue that momentum. Uh, that's two in a row now with the Larson win, um, paired with the bell win. So we're looking to go three in a row, um, and continue to just have a great, great season. So let's do it. Martinsville this weekend. My, yeah, probably my favorite short track. Um, always delivers a very good show, and um, I would expect no less here this Sunday. I will say this one might be a little tough. Um, I think there's a lot of different ways that the betters this weekend can go. Um, but I do think even with that being said, I feel like I have a pretty good understanding of um, who's going to be fast and who's going to be in contention for this thing. So um, let's get into it. I don't know if I have a number one, to be honest, but I do have... Um, four uh five yeah four i guess um winners and then kind of somebody that i think uh could really make a dark horse run at this um but we'll start at hamlin plus 700 um very fast at richmond just too many mistakes quite frankly um uh, but did have winning speed i expect hamlin to be a fast car this weekend um after the first stage at richmond G, uh, JGR and their cars really turned it on and they looked like the class of the field. They did not get the result, um, unfortunately, but they looked like the cars to beat there at the end, um, which I think a lot of people expected. And, you know, it took a little time for them to turn on. Um, but I like Hamlin here. I think if he can limit the mistakes, um, he's going to start up front. I expect him. Maybe he's a guy that you might want to take a, a pole bet on. Um, but I do think that Hamlin is going to be starting up front. He'll have good uh, pit selection. And um, if they can limit the mistakes down pit road, I think this is a team um, that, you know, deserves a win here and I think uh, can get one. So we'll start with Hamlin and I apologize. The, the lighting here isn't great. The sun keeps shining and things keep changing, but anywho, um, maybe that's a good sign. Maybe the sun shining on this video is a good sign that we're going to win this Sunday. That's how we're going to look at this. Um, second guy, man, he is tough to bet on. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to do it. And that is Martin Truex jr. Um, it just seems like this guy just kind of refuses to win a race. It, it's, it's been frustrating, um, for him, his team and us betters. Um, we got him at the clash. I mean, that was started off a great season by hitting, um, him to win the clash. I forget what the odds were. They were really good though. Um, but true X plus eight fifty here, he was the fourth fastest in green flag speed at, um, Richmond, a bad decision early on that kind of came him to bite, bite him in the, you know, what, um, that cost him the race. He's very, very good at this track. I, amazing, really, at this track. Um, but bad luck kind of continues to strike Truex. He, it's 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 unfortunate because um, you know he should be winning. He should have, the last two years, he should have at least four wins. Um, but things just haven't clicked. I think he, I hope I should say that they've learned um, from what they saw at Richmond and and kind of limit the the bad calls and the things that um, could come back to, to bite him in the ass. I'll say it. I said that, you know what, I'm going to say bite him in the ass, especially with Truex. Um, I think he's going to be fast. I just hope that they don't make some dumb decision because if they don't and Truex can just race it out, that's when I trust Truex the most, but it's like when he's leading or, or catching somebody and then there's a caution flag 
and then they just do something stupid and screw up their race. Um, that's been the true X factor the last two years. It's frustrating, but he is due. He's going to be fast. This is a great track for him. Um, so true X plus eight fifty. I like the number two. Um, third guy, let's go a third, uh, JGR driver bell plus six fifty. again, JGR, I expect to be strong. I expect Toyota overall to be strong here. He was the uh, third fastest car in overall um, total speed at Richmond. He was good in the late runs. He's coming off a great, great uh, run at Bristol Dirt, a win nonetheless. Um, and I do feel like, I feel like Bell is a guy that can handle the pressure and go back to back. I, I do feel like he is the number one at JGR. To me, he's a top three driver right now in our sport. And yes, I, I mean that he's a top three driver in our sport. Um, plus six fifty for bell. I expect J like I said, I expect JGR to be fast and um, I am not going to count out bell. He is my most profitable um, driver in, since I've started this bell. We we've hit New Hampshire. We hit Martinsville last year. We just hit Bristol dirt. We hit a bunch of top fives and top tens for him last year. Um, so I'm going to trust that number 20 because it continues to work for me. So Bell plus 650 and then Bowman. I mean, I, I keep saying bet Bowman and they just don't change the guy's odds. The guy, <clears throat> Excuse me. The guy, the guy is fast at every single racetrack we go to, whether it's a short track, whether it's a super speedway, whether it's a mile and a half, a two mile. He is very, very fast. I don't know what the odds makers are seeing because this is going to hit plus 2000 for Alex Bowman. They keep hovering this number for Alex Bowman. I, I see you can get them like around plus 2200 um, at some book. So this to me is a guy, <clears throat> geez, I'm, I'm really going crazy and, and choking myself right here <laughs> going uh, for, for Alex Bowman. But um, if they could just continue to, to keep these odds at plus 2000, you have to take chances on this guy because he's going to win a race. And when he wins a race, we're going to win a lot of money. <clears throat> and quite frankly, he's won here before. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets it done this week um, at Martinsville. So Alex Bowman plus 2000 continue to hammer that bet. All right. Dark horse, super dark horse, but I like him for a top 10. His win odds are plus two, uh, 2200. I expect not only Toyota to be fast, but I also expect that a call, a call by the crew chief or the driver to do something a little sit, a silly, a little out of the ordinary, take the chance. Maybe in some cases it's going to put you like Truex and you're not going to, it's not going to pay off for you. But a guy like Keslowski, he, I don't know if he'll have the pure speed to get a win, drive through the field and get a win, but I feel like a race like this could come, come down to strategy and, you know, maybe somebody mixing something up, staying out um, or putting on tires, you know, in a situation where most people aren't. Um, I love Keselowski to do something like this. I think his car, his car at Richmond, hovered right around like top 10 speed. So, you know, it, it's going to take something I feel like to do, you know, to get a win. It, it's not going to be just based on driving and, and uh, you know, driving through the field and maintaining good speed. It's going to take that twist, but I feel like Keselowski um, and his crew chief, they could do something strange and it might pay off. Um, and, you know, Keselowski has won a couple of times at Martinsville uh, and it, it's coming. It is coming for Brad Keselowski and uh, in the six team. So maybe something there. And again, I would also put it on the top 10. I think that's a really good bet. You'll probably get that at plus money as he uh, sits at plus 2200 for an outright win. Top five. Um, again, I don't have the odds. I, I have his winning odds. That's all that's been released plus 2000. Um, and that's Kevin Harvick. Very impressive this season at these sort of tracks and really all tracks. Um, I think he's second overall in the point standing. So he just continues to put together good finishes. Even last week when he, he really was a non-factor in the Bristol dirt race, he still finds a way um, to carve out a top 10 when it, when it's all said and done. So Harvick has been um, an absolute menace this season for Stuart Haas racing. The only thing really keeping them afloat. Um, I do think he'll get a win this season. I don't believe it's going to be this weekend at Martinsville. 
Um, but I, I will say, I will say if you look at Harvick, um, he's going to continue to have these really solid runs. So maybe it's worth sprinkling, sprinkling a little something for him, uh, you know, to win, but I feel like you're going to get really good odds for him uh, top five. And and like I said, he's just been really impressive this season. So uh, don't count him out. Top tens. I've got three. Um, we'll do two kind of um, together. So priest and Almarola. Um, Al Almarola has really good history on this track. And <laughs> if you look at average running position, which I know that's kind of a crazy stat, um, but average average running position for both these drivers is much better than the finishes they've they've um, gotten this season. So Almarola has been fast at these shorter tracks. Same with Priest. It just they haven't been able to put it all together. Um, I know <laughs> I I feel like I mention these guys' names a lot for the top tens and. Um, you know, maybe it is a little biased because I am fans of these drivers, but, um, again, if you go by the numbers by average running position and, you know, especially on these shorter tracks, um, these bets should hit these bets should hit. And it's, it's been the true X thing for both these guys, whether they're getting into, um, you know, a, a kind of unlucky wreck, um, that's costing them a race or an engine issue. So, you know, um, blowing a toe link, wh whatever it is. It's been very unfortunate for these two drivers. But again, if you look beyond the numbers of just where they're finishing and average finish position, um, if you look beyond those numbers, you'll actually see that these guys have been running well and on this track should get a top 10 or at least right around a top 10. Um, so Priest and Almirola, uh, both the wins for them are right around uh, the plus 5,000 mark. So I would assume that um, you can get plus money for both their top tens. And then the third guy I'll add is Austin Dillon. He's got three top fives, um, you know, for the spring race at Martinsville. He's coming off his best run of the season. So I think there's momentum there on his side. He was really, really good at the clash early on, um, faded a little bit at Phoenix, faded a little bit at Richmond. But I do think a really good, solid performance at Bristol Dirt. There's something to build on for him. Um, hasn't been the best start to the season for Austin Dillon, but he is a guy that's kind of built his career on being a consistent driver. Um, and I think maybe that third place at Bristol dirt can, can kind of spark that consistency to come back. And, um, you know, a, a lot of people, right. Like they thought this would be sort of a breakout year for Austin Dillon, um, a really like solid year where maybe he gets a win or two, uh, you know, a couple wins. Um, cause he has been getting wins the last, you know, some odd years, but, uh, multiple wins with, you know, bringing Kyle Bush on, um, as his teammate hasn't happened yet, but I will say, um, coming off a good dirt run and a, a track where he's had really solid success, especially at the spring race. Um, I think this is a good, a good chance to take Austin Dillon for a top 10, maybe some additional props, maybe a top five, maybe he goes back to back. Um, so, you know, something like that would have really, really big odds. So let's go through the guys again, the winners, Hamlin plus 700 Truex plus 850 bell plus 650 Bowman at plus 2000 Keselowski, little something. Maybe you sprinkle that plus 2200 in the top 10 Harvick, the top five Dylan priest and Almarola are your top 10 bets for this week. As always Johnny on the track on action network for anything that might um, come later, definitely, um, you know, look there. And, and that's uh, all the stuff that comes post practice and post qualifying. Um, you never know. I mean, there could be a guy that totally shocks us. And you want to put a little something on there. So definitely follow Johnny on the track on action network. Um, if you're a first time listener and, and viewer, I appreciate it. Definitely subscribe for more content like this video. It helps me um, continue to get on like recommended pages. So if you can give this video a like, I'd appreciate that as well. And as always, we'll end it with um, make sure, you know, you put your own picks in the comments. I love to see uh, what you guys are thinking. It maybe sometimes influences me to, to, to put something, um, you know, via action network and, and add that, that bet that we didn't talk about here. So um, good momentum, two wins with Larson and Bell. Let's get a third and, uh, and keep it up. So thanks guys. Appreciate it.